Hey guys, welcome to another video for Total War Rome 2. This time we're looking at something that is kind of overlooked by a lot of people, which is the secret superpower of the RDI faction, Naval Battles. Before we start off, please notice that the RDI is a DLC faction, which got introduced in the Pirates and Raiders culture pack. Also know that naval battles are still a bit broken, units tend to get very messed up sometimes, not listening to any orders at all, however the battles are after all these patches very much playable for me. Now a lot of you will know that the RDI is a faction focused on naval combat, and you're right, it actually is the only barbarian faction in the game that's decent at naval warfare. However, they are far better at it than you might expect, and I think you will be surprised at how good this faction actually is. Without further ado, let's jump straight into it. So the first reason why the Illyrians are excellent at sea is because of their faction trait. The RDI have two extra recruitment slots in every port settlement they control. This means that they can immediately recruit 5 ships per turn instead of 3, and this is simply amazing and makes you able to establish fleets very very quickly. The second trait provides plus 250% income from raiding, which is also very handy as raiding can be done from the sea as well. The second reason is the fact that they have an excellent naval unit roster. The RDI is the only barbarian faction in the game which has access to the Greek ship types instead of the barbarian raider types. This is great because the barbarian ones are simply terrible, not being able to ram at all. The Greek ships however come in various forms and sizes with different purposes and can be very useful at times. Just look at the roster of the RDI if you compare them to the other barbarian factions. It's insane. Also note that the artillery ships and the Persian assault tetreres are somehow playable in battles as you can see in the roster for the other faction, however these units shouldn't be here and aren't playable in the campaign, so the roster is even worse than you can see on the screen right now. The comparison just says it all, the RDI is so much better than any other barbarian faction. The standard barbarians lack any form of naval power, however the RDI can be compared with even the better Greek and uh, Carthaginian naval factions uh, in the campaign game. Let's take a quick look at the individual units in the roster. The RDI have 5 types of melee ships, 4 of those are either Assault Tetreres or Assault Hexeres ships, which are able to perform deadly ramming attacks. The Assault Hexeres is even one of the best ships for ramming in the entire game, and can either be filled with Illyrian Marines or Illyrian Tyrael Spears. These may look like low tier and bad units, but no, they are actually very good, as they are able to unload a rain of javelins before ramming enemy ships. Especially the Tyrael Spears are extremely deadly because of the high amount of ammo. These units are able to compete with the best ships from the entire ancient world. The Illyrians also have a huge amount of missile ships filled with either slave javelinmen, slave slingers, towers or scorpions or a combination of those. These units aren't that powerful on their own, however a ship filled with 140 um, slave slingers plus an extra scorpion is very deadly at range. There are actually very few good missile uh, ships in the game, and these Illyrian missile boats are better than what factions like Rome, Carthage, Egypt and Athens can bring, so this variation of ships is really good. Last but not least, the RDI is also the only barbarian faction which can bring artillery ships in the form of onagers and ballistas to the seas, which is excellent as well. As you can see, this roster is not only better than the other barbarians, it is even able to compete with factions like Egypt and Carthage, which is already fantastic, but there's even more that makes the RDI great. Like all other barbarians, the RDI are only able to build two types of ports, a fishing and a military one. The other naval powers recruit their units from the expensive military wharf, however the RDI get all their ships from the cheaper harbour chain. This means that it is very easy to get access to good naval units early in the game, and this is also helped by the fact that you unlock all the ships extremely early when playing as the RDI. Just look at this. Upgrading to a standard level 2 harbor which doesn't need any research already gives you access to scorpion ships, good missile ships and even the first powerful ramming ship. And all it takes to get here is 4 turns. You can start recruiting these units while your opponents aren't even thinking about fleets yet. This can easily be seen when taking a look at the encyclopedia, the standard harbour only gives the other barbarians a terrible missile ship, just one as you can see, however the RDI already gets 7 ships with this harbour. The same goes for the level 3 harbour, 2 new units for the standard barbarians, 6 new ones for the RDI. And do not forget the faction trait guys, you can recruit 5 ships per turn from the start of your campaign. This makes the RDI able to make a good navy quicker than any other faction in the game and the nation is therefore, in my opinion, the best early naval power. Their land units are terrible early game, like completely shit, however you can pretty much use your navies as military forces instead. Last but not least there are two things that even further boost the naval power of the RDI, 
One of those is the unique Iron Anchors technology, which isn't available to any other faction. It gives the Illyrians various naval bonuses and even an additional recruitment slot for all ports, bringing the number of units recruitable per turn to 6. The Illyrians also have their own religious temples, the Armadas building chain gives discounts for recruiting naval units, and this is going up to minus 30% in all ports, so that also helps. For all these reasons, I think the Ardia is one of the best naval factions in the game, especially in the early campaign, uh, in the early game. It doesn't have the most powerful ships, however it is able to pump, well, basically pump them out very easily and spend the fleets early in the campaign. You're able to recruit a 20 unit fleet with scorpions and ramming ships before turn 10 usually. The faction also gives you a completely new experience. I want to challenge you all to try the faction out and try to focus on the fleets as much as possible. Yes, the naval battles are still broken, but you will have a very good time. I enjoy the RDI a lot myself, so yeah, that's for sure, just try it out. So that's all I had to say about this topic for today. Let me know what you think about the RDI and the video in general in the comment section down below. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you all hopefully next time. Bye bye.